Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Legendary. Happy Friday. I apologize. We're a couple minutes late. Tech has hit the fans on me today. My desktop completely froze on me, and it is still frozen just behind my laptop, but we're making do. So hopefully, all continues to be well at this point. <laughs> moving forward because we have a pretty awesome guest that I'm excited for you to meet and get to know. It is her first time on the show. Um, but before I bring her on, a few housekeeping items. If you would like to get a text notification right through Facebook when we go live within a minute or so of our live stream starting, um, and it includes a link so you can join us live really easily, um, all you have to do is head over to legendarymarketer.com slash W-U-L. I'm having a little movement because my arm is right where my uh, raising desk button is. So that will be an exciting element during today's show as well. <laughs> but definitely go subscribe, join that broadcast room. Um, there you will be able to get a notification each morning, five days a week, Nothing else is sent through that broadcast room. No one else can message or DM through there. So you won't feel like you're getting alerts and being spammed and all of that. You just get one message a day right after we go live with a link to our show. So head over to legendarymarketer.com slash W-U-L. All right. It is Friday. It is a beautiful day. Nice and chilly here. And let's welcome our guest angela welcome to the show how are you today i am fabulous how are you joanne i'm doing well so i feel like i know angela guys because <laughs> you do <laughs> she is all over our wake up legendary every morning in the comments you are consistent <laughs> I see your posts on Facebook. You are you are an example of consistency in action. And I, I love don't know about that. all that, but I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too hard headed so, to quit. So Well, I love that. That's a great yeah. quality. <laughs> determined. I'm just too determined. But I, you know, gotta do what you gotta yeah. do. But but yeah, I'm all over social media. I mean I love I, with with the experience of network marketing that I have, I mean, Facebook was my office <laughs> for, you know, many years off and on. So, and I, I've got another company I'm fixing to be joining any minute. Um, that's Brands Bank and News starting up and, and I'm going to tie it all into the affiliate stuff and we're going to awesome. run with it. Love it. So how did you, how did you start? getting online what were you doing before what are you doing now how, how did you come about the online space to begin with oh wow that's a whole that's a whole different <laughs> story within itself but it all started um let me think let me think so so like in 2000 i had my last child and i was already a stay-at-home mom at that time and when I had him, I, I wound up having health issues after having him. And I was hypothyroid and adrenal fatigue. It took them like a year to figure out what was even wrong with me. I done self-diagnosed myself before they even did. But anyway, and so so after that, the baby started having health issues within himself. And it's like, I'm dealing with my health issues, health issues and trying to get diagnosed and get treatment. And he's got all this going on for himself and I've got to work with him. And then I've got to juggle a couple other kids and, you know, the husband and, and the house and all the things. And, and so it, I wound up with health issues and, and was a stay at home mom. And of course you want to bring in that extra income and help out. Mm -hmm. And so I go looking in the online space and I literally found affiliate marketing in 2004. Okay. And so it's 2004 at a couple of years later, and I'm looking for that, that work from home thing, you know, to bring in the extra income. And I learned about affiliate marketing then, and I was very interested in it, but I didn't know how to set it up. I didn't know how to connect it all together. Um, I didn't know anybody doing it. Um, social media really didn't exist back then. 
um, I think I joined Facebook like 14, 15 years ago. So 20 years ago, me finding affiliate marketing, I wasn't even on Facebook yet. <clears throat> but so that that's kind of how I learned first about affiliate marketing. But what I got into at that point was network marketing. So 2004, okay. I joined network marketing and I've been network marketing off and on for 20 years now. So um, right. I think the longest I've been with any one particular company was seven and a half years, which is a pretty good bit of time for any one company. Definitely. Um, and that yeah. particular company had three of the founder CEOs that are fixing to start this brand new one that I'm fixing to start up. And I know, I know those people personally. I've been around those people. I mean, that's like a whole, a whole family within itself that, that, right. that I have now, um, mm -hmm. because I've always struggled as a person, I guess, feeling like I didn't fit in, um, feeling like a round peg trying to go in a square hole and you didn't feel like you fit in, was included or anything. And so when I found network marketing, that one particular company, I mean, you spend seven and a half years with people at, I go to every event, all the trainings. I mean, I love to travel. I love to travel. I love experiencing things. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I do. But, but you mentioned too, I'm all over social media and I am, but it's kind of like you have to take people on your journey and show them yeah. where you're going, where you've been, what you've done and, and what your goals, your dreams are, where you're heading. And it allows them to, to decide for themselves, you know, do they want to come along or do they just want to be your audience and clap for you? You know what I mean? So, yeah. And I, I think both types of people are important <clears throat> and you're going to have both types. And I know we want people that aren't just, you know, watching our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we want action takers, right? But right. eventually if they're watching when they're ready, Right. And they're not feeling right. like they're being sold mm -hmm. to. They're going mm -hmm. to take action when the time mm -hmm. is right. As and you'd be still there when they're ready. <laughs> right. And you'd be completely surprised. There, there's a lot of people that would be surprised to know that there's people that are contacting you, you know, five years later. And they're like, are you still with that company? Uh, I think I'm ready now. And it's like, oh, well, you know, you were one of my leads five years ago. You know, right. but, but again, like you said, it's all in their timing. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's on them when they decide to join you, if they decide to join you, you know, and you know how, how your best friends that you want to join you, they're the last ones that's ever going to join you. Right. I don't know why right. that is, but I, it I, is, I, it's true. I, it is. I actually just was watching a clip from yeah. Dave on wake up legendary last night and he talked about mm -hmm. that exact topic and it was right. you're it's a lot easier to make strangers into you know strangers clients become friends instead of friends into yeah. clients right it, it i'm all about that cold market i'm that's cold just market. the reality <laughs> i'm cold market because my husband he works 100 plus hours a week he, he works entirely too much. He travels, all those things. And, and so, so we move a lot because as he's climbed the corporate ladder, we've moved a lot. Our right. oldest child lived in four states by the time he was four years old. That's four states, not four houses, four states. And, right. and so we've moved a lot. And so I don't really have personal friends, not not close ones that's like next door down the block or cross town or, you know, like that. I don't have that. And so, right. so I have to build cold market mostly um, with any, anything I do. So again, like you said, I find it easier to talk to somebody that's a complete stranger, um, you know, and, and I guess they can pick out the parts of your, your personality or whatever that, that attracts them, that makes them like you and want to follow you. Mm -hmm. And, and that's where I guess the attraction just kind of starts and they keep watching you. So, so like you're talking about social media and, and being on, on present all over social media, but like right now I wrote this ebook, <laughs> legendary awesome. marketer ebook. Right. And so I write, I, I wrote this ebook and, and I got a, price it. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. 
but it's how I stumbled across a weight loss thing that's working for me right now that I'm doing. And so, like, if you saw me in, in New Orleans and would have even paid me much attention, I was 30 plus pounds fatter there than I am today. So, so I'm taking people on my journey, too, because I'm posting videos of walking. I'm posting videos of different recipes, anything mm -hmm. health, wellness related, you know, get exercise, burn the calories, What? I'm just going to take people on my journey. I'm going to take them on my journey. I'm just bringing the vibe, the energy, and they can pick and choose if they want to join, watch, whatever. That's I it. I love that. And I hope everyone really grabs this little nugget. Even though she didn't specifically say it, I'm going to say it for her. Okay. Angela's not the expert in weight loss. She doesn't have oh. degrees and certifications. She's not the expert in whatever it is she's recommending. Okay, and I let me, want let me everyone to understand that. We can recommend things without being the expert. Right, right. But like where I was talking about, I came down with health issues after the birth of my last child. Hypothyroid affects your metabolism. Adrenal fatigue affects your metabolism. Well, as of May of this year, let's throw menopause in there now. Okay, so now we've got three hormonal issues going on and ain't none of them balanced. Okay, we're like a hormonal train wreck. <laughs> But I don't care. I'm just here. And, and and I can even laugh about it or I can cry about it. But I might even do both about it. But again, it's just part of life. It's kind of like I can't fix it, but I can show you what I'm doing to, to add to it, change it, you know, what's working for me or whatever. Right. And just share along the way. But But having those health issues, I mean... After you have a baby, most people start losing weight after having a baby. Oh, no, no, no. I went home from the hospital weighing 138 pounds after having a third child, okay? From there, I started just gaining weight. And I'm like, oh, no, this, hold up. Because I was a 120-pound, 5'2 little thing, you know? And all of a sudden, I'm 195 pounds over here. And I'm like, oh, my God. But for 24 and a half years, I've been trying to get rid of this weight. I can't. And there's only been one product in that 24 and a half years that ever worked for me. And that was the company I was talking about. I was with for seven and a half years. But they uh, also, they also, you know how network marketing companies do, you know, they'll, this ingredient's banned from the FDA. So they take that right. ingredient out. Let's throw another one in there. They <laughs> bring you out a whole new product. They call it new, but you lose a quarter of your customers because now this new version doesn't work for for the ones that did like your product, um, the new version doesn't work for them. So you have a whole bunch of customers that drop off. Well, now you're having to rebuild because you had a bunch to drop off. And there's some others that are now wanting the new stuff instead of the older stuff anyway. But but there was only that one product. They pulled it from the shelf. And and so I've been struggling for my weight 24 and a half years now. So, mm -hmm. so now that I stumbled upon what works, I'm going to share it with the world. And I really, really stumbled upon it because, like, I have a tin stimulator sitting here beside of me that I've been wearing on my shoulder and my arm because I have a bone spur. I have mm -hmm. tendonitis. I have frozen <laughs> shoulder, which frozen shoulder alone is inflammation and, and um, limited range of motion. So I've been dealing with this thing, okay? So I stumbled upon losing weight, looking for something to help with inflammation for my shoulder. Mm -hmm. and, and and so now that I have found what works even for my hormonal train wreck body, yeah, I'm going to share it with the world. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to blow I'm going to blow social media up. If they hear me, they hear me. If they don't, that's great, too, you know, because the ones that are supposed to hear you are going to hear you. As Sarah said in the comments, people are nosy. They like to know what's going on. And as everyone can see, Angela loves to tell her story. She, hey, you're, you're an open book, right? I you're like, this, is, say those words. Yeah. this is what's going on. And she does that, she brings what she's showing here right into her content. And it's what is comfortable for you. It what feels good to you. It's what, and you have no problem with, it's take it or leave it. This is my story. This is the journey I'm on. I'm yeah. having a great day. I'm having a crappy day. Right. But this is my truth. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this is, and it all still comes back to 
it's just about sharing what's going on in your mm-hmm. life, whatever you're comfortable with right. sharing. Um, right. And it's not about trying to be, okay, I'm new in the digital marketing. So I have to be, whoa, did we lose I me? I think you're freezing. You're freezing. <laughs> I see you, but you're you hear frozen. Me? And kind of, I hear you, but you're frozen and grayed out. Now I just see me. Okay. There we there go. You there you go. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. It's, it's Tech woes. It's tech woes today, guys. <laughs> it's because I'm on your show. Tech is not me, okay? Uh, I'm like plain Jane. I'm Gen X, okay? We didn't grow up with tech. So if, if, if there's going to be technical issues, they going to find me, okay? <laughs> and I got to deal with them. But, yeah. but you know, it, it it's one of the biggest hurdles all of our students have is how do I make content if I'm not the expert? How do I, what's my first video if I'm not the expert? Mm -hmm. And you just don't have to be. You really are a friend in a circle that's sharing what happened in your day, what's Mm -hmm. going on, and recommendations that you're finding that's helping you with that pain point. That's it. I have people beating my door down, wanting this ebook I am writing that's making me lose this weight. Joanne, I have lost this weight in like, uh, let's see, we're we're on three months now. I mean, as soon as I came home from from New Orleans, from from y'all's event, as soon as I came home is when I I played around dipping my toe in in what I was doing to make sure it worked for me. And then I went to New Orleans knowing I was going to eat and drink all the wrong things. I wasn't going to be doing any walking because I try to walk a couple days a week, do some videos on it, whatever. But so it was when I came home, I'm like, okay, I'm jumping in with both feet. And I've done that. So like three months now. And so um, the point is, you know, you just, you got to, you got to share where you're at and where you're going. And, and you're going to have some people that's clapping for you and you're going to have some people that don't. Uh, and like Sarah said, you yeah. know, people are nosy. All you got to do is make them curious. And and that alone just makes them follow you because they want to know, what is she doing? Which is this company now? Uh, what's that product? What is this supposed to do? What can it do for me? They want to know how, how, how it helps their problem, right? Because they got a problem. You got the solution. You got to connect the two. Yep. That's what it is in a nutshell. <laughs> it really it So is. let's 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 talk about Mastermind because you were at our last event. Mm-hmm. Um, it was by far my favorite, and I love our events. But New Orleans was a lot of fun. Maybe not necessarily outside, but it was fun. But the I've actual been there, event. I've is, been there a few times. Yeah. So what are what were your biggest takeaways? Was it what you expected when you went? Well, with all of my years and network marketing experience and social media platform trainings, all this stuff that I go to, I mean, the company I was with before, I went to every one of their trainings, their events. It didn't matter. It didn't matter if it was in Utah, if it was in Texas, if it was, you know, New Orleans, it didn't matter. Tennessee, I went to them. I, if I was in driving distance, I'm driving. If I'm not, then I'm flying. But, um, I, I go to these events, you learn, you train what you can. Um, it was good to to go to your event because I got to meet the people, it, you know, up close and personal, talk to some people, that kind of thing. And they reiterated more of what you've already learned through the program itself. But, mm-hmm. but kind of hearing it firsthand and being there live, it just gave you a whole new, and let's go with that vibe word again. It gave you that whole new vibe and I can do this kind of mindset thing, you know? And, and so it, it was, it was so much like any and all the other network marketing bits and trainings and meetings that I've gone to though. I mean, it was practically exactly like it. The only difference I could tell really from like a network marketing event and y'all's event was, it's like, where's the music? It's like, I needed music to kind of get me, you know, in the groove and moving with y'all's event. But otherwise it was like, I feel like I'm at another network marketing training event, you know? So it was, I mean, we try to pack it in with a lot of good information, great speakers, one being in our chat right now. And yes, the red, the red boot, we'll call it for Sarah (laughs) was a great takeaway. (laughs) Um, But yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole lot of fun, I think. I think yeah. they're fun. I think they're a good but time. But getting to see, you know, you and Dave and Sarah and 
and just hearing y'all on, you know, up front talking and Sean was there and Gwen mm -hmm. and, you know, it just, it just, it was, it was good to see it up close and personal, you know, kind of thing and not right. just behind a screen. Um, and, and hearing these people on, you know, the training pages and the blueprint group page and that kind of thing. So I love yes. it though. Yeah, as virtual as we are, there's something about actually being in the same room and meeting someone in person yeah. Yeah. and engaging with yeah. them. Um, yeah. Even for me, I love it. Yeah, because I'll meet people, that vibe. Yeah. Right? And it, it's just feeling each other's like energy, seeing their personality a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think one comment we always hear is, oh, Dave's like, like a real down to earth person. Like he's not like <clears throat> hiding in a corner. Like he yeah. just will sit at a table and shoot the shit with you. Right. And that right? we all do. And so oh, do I'm all of our shoot the shit with people. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> but, um, Which but is, yeah, I mean, you have to, you have to, you have to show people who you are, you know, and where you're at in life. And, and again, they can choose if they just, they want to be on your journey or not, but that best friend, oh, they usually are the last one, if ever, that join you on anything. And you think, oh my gosh, I got the perfect best friend that's going to join me and we're going to sell this product because we know all these people. And then it's like, they don't want to join you. And it's like, well, shit, back to square right. one. You know what I mean? But it's well, like- I mean, we take it personal when a friend doesn't, like, but it's like, we, we got to lay off the friends. They're not, they're just not coming along on this and that's okay. <sighs> Well, it's just not their time. It's not their time. It might not be the company for them. It might not be the product for them. It just, it may be something they just can't afford right now, you know, or maybe something about it's turned them off. But again, you, you can't leave them standing at the curb. You know, you still need people applauding for you, whether they ever buy from you or not. And you have to yeah. pay attention who's clapping for you and who's not. Because you're going to have those haters, right? Yep, but, you are. but I'm gonna wave at them and block them and move on. <laughs> so they don't I, bother me. They don't bother me. Did you ever have a problem sharing your story and getting personal online? Was that a hurdle uh, for you, or was it piece of cake? <laughs> well, see, when when Facebook first came out with Facebook Lives, I really, really, really wanted to do them so bad because I wanted the growth in the company that I was with, which was the company I was with for seven and a half years. And, but I didn't have the internet to really do the Facebook live thing like I really wanted to. And so I was like, oh, I gotta get internet. I gotta get internet. And I mean, we've spent over $500 a month before for HughesNet, for internet, just to try to work from home. And it's like, oh my God, this is a scale of me. I can't stand it. And then at some point um, we went with like an AT&T hotspot box and it worked great. But then, but then AT&T <laughs> changed their towers around and they did that. We lost like 50% of how good it was. And then you had the bombing of AT&T. Well, that affected us another 50%. And then there was something else and it was like, oh my God, I cannot use this thing anymore. I got to get rid of this. Um, so we went with Starlink because it was mobile and, and available for everywhere. And so I went with that and it allows me enough to, to get online. It allows me to do videos without, mm -hmm. I mean, I've made, I've made live videos before trainings before, and you go to watch the replay and it's like, I have like every other word blurped out, you know, or blanked out and, and you have all these issues with it. And it was like, oh, they ain't gonna know what I'm even talking about if it took out every other word, you know, because you just didn't have a good connection. <clears throat> and so, so I really wanted to do that for the growth of the company and the growth of the business was to do the Facebook lives, but I just didn't have the internet access for that to do it. So, so I do what I can when I can, but now I have Starlink and it's better than, than some of the other options we've had in the past. It is not perfect. However, we have a solution. We have a solution. I literally, literally, we loaded the moving truck last Friday. Um, I moved us. Um, my husband works too many hours. He didn't, he did not box the first box. Okay. Okay. I have a bad shoulder <laughs> over here and, and I'm moving us a 4,200 square foot house. I'm packing us up and I'm moving us. 
And the only thing we currently have at the house we're selling is we have our clothes, the food, and then office stuff, you know, for us to work from home kind of thing that we're packing up to go to a condo that that's furnished and we're renting until we figure out where we permanently want to go because we just sold the lake house that we had built. So I got a lot of irons in the fire, but it's kind of like, it's what keeps me going too, because if I didn't have a lot going on, I would just sit around and get just mopey and down and out. You know what I mean? I have to keep moving and going. I just have to keep moving. So it's kind of like just throw another iron in the fire. So when y'all sent the email, I was like, okay, they must have sent that email to the wrong person because I know they don't want me on this call because what have I done great over here, right? And and then y'all had commented back to me in one of the group pages, and I'm like, oh, they did mean that email for me. And it's like, mm, okay. So it's like, okay, I guess I'll go respond to this email now <laughs> and see where it goes. Okay, so even after everything you've been through, our, our, as our title says, Jane of all trades, you're doing affiliate marketing, you're doing network marketing, you have multiple streams of income, you've got a lot of things in the fire, which I love. You are a go-getter. You're not a quitter. You are a take it. Here I am. You get an invite to come share your journey. And you still, there. that self-doubt creeps in. I don't know if they really meant it for me. Maybe I shouldn't be on the show. Well, it wasn't so and, much a self-doubt, but it was just like, I am not, I'm not this huge success that I feel like you usually interview. And but so it was you kind of like, are, hey, but you are in many ways. You've right. had many wins. There's a lot of yeah. people that are scared to post that first video. And you coming on is showing <laughs> you can do this. Everyone yeah. can do this. And I hope yeah. that's what people really take away from this interview is yeah. you don't you can be any different person with a any type of personality, any yeah. type of story, and you can do this. You just have to decide you're worthy of it. And yeah. you really exemplify that quite well. well. It's, it's your attitude, your personality, your vibe, all that that's going to attract your people to you anyway. So you right. have to show them who you are so they want to come along. But, um, but, but, you know, one of the things I would tell like people on my team about videos, it's like, it's like record yourself, just talk and record yourself on your phone. And, you know what? I used to think I repeated myself when I would do like a training for my team. I felt like I was repeating myself to reiterate a, a point. And but then I'd watch the recording of it back and it was like, you know what? I really did not repeat myself like I thought I was doing. And so I tell people record that video and watch it back and, and kind of see where do I need to improve? What was wrong with this? You know, are, are you, is your face completely black because you got too much shadow and darkness and whatever going on? Or, you know, are you stuttering? Are you saying, um, 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 a lot or whatever? But even if you're saying, um, 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 you go over there, make it in the TikTok app and you can just edit boom, 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 all that out. And you don't have that, um, um, um thing even in, in your videos anymore, you know? So, yeah. And, and at first, if you have the ums, post it anyways. Post it anyways, and Who then cares? get better at it, and right. then get better at it, right? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and and I started another TikTok account, and I was getting these community violations. And I'm like, oh my god, what is going on over here? And they were flagging me for this and flagging me for that. And it was like, whoop, we're gonna close that account down because I don't want all those community violations. So then I started another one. Uh, for affiliate marketing and I grew it to like 500 and something and then it was like I'd start and I stop and I'd start and I stop and the, and the reason mostly I would stop would be like I mean I don't have a problem talking as you can see but and I don't have a problem with video but it was it was like okay what are we talking about today on this video and that was that was my thing and and when I went to New Orleans I had quit posting videos, but when I was in New Orleans, here I am in the hotel room, you know, posting videos. I started right back up. The energy was strong and it lasted till I got back home. But then it was like, Meow. and then, and then I posted something in the blueprints group page, asking people stuff, how to keep, how to keep it going, you know, kind of, how do you come up with this? And 
of course, they're like AI, and I'm like, ugh, ugh. AI don't really sound like me sometimes, but. I think um, you just need to put the camera on and film it and let it roll. <laughs> I mean, you just got to start, right? Yeah. But, um, but, but I think I was struggling too because I was in the, uh, the make money online space. Mm. And, but health and wellness weight loss is what I know. That's mm. what I know. So I had to pivot. I had to pivot. And since I did that pivot, Joanne, I don't know what it is, but um, it's like my stars are aligning. Oh, yeah. And they keep on aligning. Um, so like this company I'm fixing to join, that product so aligns with, with what I stumbled across that's helping with inflammation and making me lose weight. It's not even funny. And the timing of everything, like, we're expecting that new company to start up any second. I mean, any second I'm going to get a link to sign up and run with it. But, oh, where am I going with this? Because <laughs> peri perimenopause and menopause has me crazy these days. But I think it, you know, it doesn't matter what products you're promoting, guys. That So doesn't. let's take that piece it out. It doesn't matter. It's about deciding for yourself you're worthy to show up. Yeah. You're worthy to keep figuring things out. And that's what you've done. Yeah. And that's what you continue to do. And that's what I hope people take away from this episode. Yeah. So, you know? so, but I'm telling you, and, and people are wanting this ebook that, because they see my weight loss. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm like a Buddha belly. I look like Teletubby. I had a hormonal belly, okay? At 54, you should not look like a prego, okay? And that's exactly what I look like. Well, all of a sudden, I have no belly. And it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Because that's that's what made me up mostly was my belly. And boom, a lot of it's gone now. And so people is just like, hurry up, write this book, write this book. And then I move and they're like, oh my gosh, how much is this going to set you back? And, you know, getting this book out because I got to have this this thing, whatever you're doing, I need to lose weight too. And they're all excited about it. And I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm packing the house up, I'm packing the house up. And it's like, I've got to, you know, finish up the tail end of the move. So we're in Clearwater today because my husband does a, a yearly manager's training event here. Okay. And so I went to Okeechobee and I hung out with a sister and a cousin that lives down there and another sister and another cousin that was down there visiting. So it wound up being three of us sisters and two cousins hanging out in Okeechobee for a couple of days while he was doing this training. So now I came back to Clearwater to, to hang out with him last night and he's down there having managers meeting with the boss man and doing his thing. Um, at breakfast today and I'm doing this thing up here. So sometimes you have to see how you wove together, you know, what you're doing. Um, but it's about just, just including people and, and taking them on that journey with you because, but they're, they're beating my door down. They're wanting this ebook and I'm like, I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing. And you know, that's just, it. that's, and I'm just taking them on the journey with me, whether whether mm -hmm. I'm showing them before or after pictures, whether I'm showing them I'm walking two, three days a week, which I didn't even walk last week because of moving. Um, I'm getting 12 plus thousand steps in the house for moving. I didn't need to walk. Right. And so, you know, and, and I'm going to add this health and wellness company and product that goes with what I'm doing in it. So I'm going to have even more stuff and more areas. So I'm never going to have anything to shut up about health, wellness, <laughs> weight loss. So doing the pivot from make money online to the health, wellness, weight loss sector was, was a great move for me because literally it's now feels like it's just clicking, 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 and everything's lined up the way it's supposed to be. I don't know. It just, it's just happened. Awesome. Awesome. I'm well, just I here for the ride. <laughs> I appreciate you coming on today. Um, you are definitely a ball of energy and uh, keep us updated on your journey for sure. And thanks for coming on. Well, thank you so much for having me because yeah, I'm going to bring the energy. I'm going to bring the vibe. I'm going to, I'm going to laugh about it. I'm going to take pictures three times and tell everybody about it. I love that's it. what I do. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for coming on. Have a great day and, and stay legendary. Thank you, Joanne. Bye. <laughs> Oh. <gasps>
All right, that was fantastic. And to answer your question, Andrew, what the biggest takeaway I want everyone to get from this interview is the the drive, the determination to keep going. You don't have to be an expert. Share your story, post as in perfectly perfect way as possible. Just continue to take action. Keep showing up. Keep whatever you're willing to share in your story, your journey, that's all you need to do. We're not here to sell. We're not here to change people's minds with whatever niche we're in. We're here to recommend. We're here to make online friends <laughs> and let the journey take us as we go. Um, but keep going, keep learning and keep staying plugged in. Uh, so thank you, Angela, for coming on the show. Um, you can follow her on TikTok at small town KY country girl, and it's small SM. So SM town KY country girl on TikTok. And you can find her on Instagram at Angela stop money stressing. Um, you can find her there as, as well. That was uh, a whole lot of energy. I apologize for my crazy tech, but you know what? Tech shit happens and we keep going. We don't go up. Oh, no, wake up legendary today. I just pop on my laptop. I let my camera freeze. My desk randomly raises up and down as we're doing the interview and we still show up and kill it, right? That's how it works. That's how we do it here. Um, so everyone have a fantastic weekend. Continue to take action. Go after all of your, your dreams, your aspirations, and just start with what's the first step that you need to take today? And then tomorrow, what's, a ne what's the next step you got to take? And just do it one day at a time, one post at a time, one email at a time, and just keep trucking. And you will be surprised where you end up over time when you just keep showing up every day. Have a great day, everyone. And as always, stay legendary. Peace.